back to our podcast live at WhatCon! And then just no sound. <laughs> I'm just in there like, oh, okay. So we got some. So Andrew's uh, our tech supervisor. Yes. For today. Well, I don't know if you actually know this. He does IT. So, you know, that it's great. He's in his element. Here what? In Donnie, you're out of your element. <laughs> no. He's okay. Just, he's like, the last thing I want to do is IT here at once. Yeah. I, last thing I want to do is IT at my job. I don't blame you. <laughs> I understand Look, that. Whenever you have somebody that comes up to you and says, like, how do I, where's the mouse on a laptop? It's just like, front, Ooh, retire. Nope. nope. <laughs> it's like, I once had someone you've, plugging. You've been here since the Wright Brothers invented flight, dude. Just retire. <laughs> I once had someone plugging the USB mouse into the Ethernet port. Oh, yeah. And they I've seen that didn't one. know why it wouldn't work. I have a meme of it. You can come to me afterwards and I'll show you. Um, oh, he has a lot of things to show you. Oh, we have such sights to show you. Well, once the cameras are off again. Ooh, <laughs> I mean, he's already shown on his nipple. I did. I did. But again, that was before cameras know. were on. The yeah. second nipple is behind a paywall. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I have self respect. Which, which one's the NFT? Uh, it's our only, only taints. Taint. So <laughs> we've got the only taints. Which nipple is the NFT? Uh, this is the three, <laughs> and it's the righty, it's mighty righty. Mighty righty, the mighty, NFT. mighty righty. The All NFT. right, guys. Well, before we go any further, welcome to a live, very special episode of the Black Tower Podcast. At what con? At what <laughs> joined us either in here or out there and all the ships at sea. I am your Amon Khan Mahale, Daniel. It's true, he is. And I am your Suruban Mahale, Josh. That's also true, he is. And I'm your big booty Bajan Mahale, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> that banging awesome. booty and Bajan just as Mahale. Make it clap oh, almost as loud as men. <laughs> God, don't. Men. By the a clarification, oh, which, men, hey, not men. I men. I heard men. Men. M-I-N. M-I-N. He got the booty like. I could clarify, but that's a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> let's just say Ewing's work in a very specific clapping rhythmic fashion. <laughs> does your does your dummy thick ass hold up an entire book series? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! All right. So All right. this is not the subject we decided. No, to talk it's about. not. But it's, it's a fun a segue. We enjoy. So we'll get spoilers out of the way right yes. now. Spoiler warning out of the way right now. Oh, those of you listening on the YouTube, all like one and a half of you, um, <laughs> for the moment, that's going to be moment. and everybody here. Full spoilers. We're talking about weaves. Um, we're doing a little hypothetical with it because uh, obviously we all know that you don't we actually don't need the hand motions for weaves. What? In fact, the Black Tower considers them a crutch, and you get beat if you try to use. It's true. Hand. Well, that, well, that, that was the use. It's like, a kinder, gentler Black Tower we now. Didn't yeah. do. Showing us we, we will. We will get there. Beatings. We will get with no beatings. Oh. <laughs> not not live anyway. Wow. Again, that's behind a paywall. All of the Black Tower teachers are either here or on vacation, so we're not going to beat each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless it's behind a paywall, like I said. Order, just to make sure that everybody knows, I know that you probably already figured this out, but the. the Camera is over there, so please direct everything that way because we do not have another camera. And if someone does want to have a question, we do have an additional camera. We can walk around. The microphone. The microphone. Not you. Microphone. <laughs> I do not need. A what is a microphone but a camera for your voice? It. it. <laughs> Fucking philosophical over. Here. Um. Before we get any further, I just you see what I have to work. With. I want to say. <laughs> I just want to say something real quick because I feel like it needs to be acknowledged. The reading that just happened oh, with Kate and Michael. Yes. The reading <laughs> and also the Kramer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was anybody else like just, in, I mean, in tears? I mean, I was in tears. That Oh, it was absolutely a beautiful moment. And you know that was a cold reading, right? Yes. Yeah, they, everything cold read that. Yeah. 
Well, read. I also love. I mean, they haven't read. Oh, yeah. Yes. I also love how like they were like meaningful chapter. Definitely want to want to do that. Also, let's make Michael's life as hard. <laughs> as uh, let's choose a chapter that has thirty-seven new names in it, just for fun. <laughs> Yeah. Four and accents, and four different thirty-seven different names, and, and a bar tree, in a bear tree. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, also, just for everyone who's here, uh, if you don't know, well, for everybody at home, I did also bring some of the coins that are our representation of the sword and dragon pin that the uh, dedicated and the Ashaman get. Uh, enough and enthusiasm, these, you can pin them on your collar too. It just takes a lot of work. It is very painful as well. <laughs> not recommend. Uh, and these coins are not coming up with me. So oops. Uh, we will have things going on in this panel that will earn you either the sword or the dragon. Just so the <laughs> if you want that, you will need to. Uh, the requirements on them will be stated later. I uh, will also I state that receiving these coins comes with a responsibility. Oh, it does, yes. Once you have been issued said coin, you are never, ever, oh, ever again. allowed to be without that over. coin <laughs> ever <laughs> again. That's and that's it, it. Well, yes, yeah, and it's the Black Tower. Tower. That's that was probably right. fantastic for the microphones on the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that was the best thing. That was it. That was it right there. So, who's ready to talk about some weed? Yes. What are we actually talking about? Let's talk about. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about weaves, baby. <laughs> let's talk about you and me. Oh God. This is this is what I have to work with, Dan. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling ring of words and fire! <laughs> so I want to start with rolling ring of earth and fire. Simply because it's the easiest one. <laughs> yep. Yep. That is it, guys. It is not very cinematic. No. Nope. So it'll be interesting to I see don't know, what happens. If you get enough men standing in a line, all going. But what'll be awesome about it is all the people in front of them exploding. Yes. No. Well, do they like do they sway their hips back and forth with each pulse that goes oh, out? A little bit. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Yeah. So wait. Yeah, just a little, little bit. Boom, and then just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> For Sidar, maybe. <laughs> That's kill a lot of Shido for Sidar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, specifically, we are actually talking about uh, hand motions in the Wheel of Time, not just weaves. Uh, weaves is definitely a huge part of the conversation because, you know, as we know, the, uh, magic, the magic system in the <laughs> Wheel of Time is made up of one power. <laughs> Split into two powers, <laughs> split into five powers. That's the rave we <laughs> This sounds like math class, and I don't like it anymore. Yeah, and uh, oh, yeah. somebody feel like a loser. Right? <laughs> and as you start reading the Wheel of Time, uh, the hand or the, the magic users go ahead and use hand motions to help them and assist them to do magic. And each weave or each magical act is associated with a hand motion. Now these vary between person to person. Uh, most of the ones in the tower are actually fairly uniform, but once you actually meet the uh, wise ones, they have different things that they do for certain things. Once you meet the Ashman, it's beaten out of them, so they don't have any hand motions. Um, but <laughs> first, the sea folk also have them uh, and things like that. So these vary a little bit between nation to nation. So we wanted to talk a little bit about and that's tidal the wave, tidal wave fights little girl. They did the boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, <laughs> something like that. Tidal wave kills oh, she's small child. In the sand. Better do a fucking tsunami about it. We, well, it's just, like it's like I, I refuse to not believe that entire scene wasn't just Sean Chan seeing a random girl on the beach and just being incredibly offended. Denial. Fuck that child in particular. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to believe it. Like, she's 
that she doesn't have a sandcastle license. <laughs> and the worst? <laughs> That's right. Wow. The worst part about all of this is that they're not actually book accurate Chan Chan. Because if they were book accurate Chan Chan, oh, one dear. robot or what a robo. <laughs> what books are you reading? <laughs> One robo would have come up to the beach, and two Shan Chan would have gotten out and said, Little girl, have you taken the oaths? And then when she said no, they would have said, Would you like to? And when she goes, Stranger danger, then they said, Then, I'm away. <laughs> then they but wave the at her. Shan Chan definitely always walk up and go, Have you taken the oath? No, actually, no, they walk up and they go, Said anything, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> have you taken the oath? Oh. First, there's the testing to see. Yeah, really, they would have tested it. Yes. Oh, okay, that's, fair. Uh, that's also it's a small yeah, child of a female done. persuasion. Yes, you dare take clams Are you from the emphasis of land. No, I'm not for Rastafari. No, we're not. We're not. So, um, yeah, so this yeah, panel or this this episode, whatever we want to call this, uh, is going to be about. Uh, sort of our visions for things that we think are common, hand motions for different weaves, uh, what we think may be used in the show, the different types from different areas. Basically, it's a little bit freeform because that's what the Black Tower does all the time. We, we definitely uh, thought about this and planned we it. Planned it. We planned it. We did. So hard. We absolutely did. <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to definitely have some fun. Uh, we definitely want to get you guys participating a little bit as much as you'd like. We're not going to force No, no. It. Everyone must demonstrate a weave prior uh, but to But we'd absolutely like to see what <laughs> you think about <laughs> certain <laughs> things. Uh, we'd also it's like to hear, you know, if you have a really interesting weave that you'd like to see or take our thought on, uh, you know, that kind of thing as well. So please feel free and be prepared. <laughs> To participate as much as you would like in the future of this episode. So now I'm going to pass it off to either Andrew or Josh because I've talked a lot. I mean, so when they, when they describe some of the weaves in the books, what are some of the ones they describe? Because we get a description of the Ashaman vine, which is apparently just a nice friendship. Yeah, so who wants to demonstrate that with me? Like, oh, you can weave with your hands? I can weave with my tongue. <laughs> with my well, lips. Again, in well, reference to a previous panel, that's how the Black Tower makes money, by doing magic mic performance. Yes. <laughs> also, Which he said in front it, of Maria. When you think about it, it's also... She smiled. She did. Does that, does that determine how strong your water bond is, as well, or your Ashman bond is? If you want to you know... If he loves you so, it's in his keys. That's what it is. Well, is that where you're going with that? that? The ones who could go ahead and tie a knot in a chair stem <laughs> are probably the ones with some really strong bonds. So wait, so wait, what are you saying Simmons? Oh, uh, oh my god. He has a talent for bonding, if you know mm. what I mean. I think that's just he has a lot of bonds. A lot of different bonds and a lot of different notes. This is getting into our talent conversation. Yeah, there we go. Which, if you've not heard our talent conversation, you'll know that talents comprise of capital T talents and lowercase t talents. And capital T talents are talents that nobody else can learn. You cannot learn it. You either have it or you don't. And lowercase t talents are like gateways. Andral is a fucking wizard with gateways but anybody can weave a gateway when they're taught so the well, lowercase t talent anyone is someone who is easily excelling <laughs> at such a weave or such a thing so yes. i'm but, just getting that out of the way now before we start talking about weaves because i feel like that's an important distinction yep. to make so andrew asked a great question and we didn't actually answer it we uh, did so avoid I andrew's question i don't know why i asked the question to be honest well, what so, weaves were they talking about? One of about? the ones that I think is the most apropos for this particular thing uh, is gateways. Gateways they, is an the obvious choice. The hand motion for how you open a gateway in or with a number of people who are described is opening a door. Except for Avienda. And Avienda is a in the ways back a tent they peel flap. back a tent flap. And yeah. then they detonate a weave in the middle of the and then they <laughs> and then they unravel it to make a new. That's a that's a different weave. <laughs> but the thing is, it's just a weaving weave. Andral, it's not a bug; it's a feature. <laughs> <laughs> what is the weave for a portable mini? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, lots of fire, lots of spirit. Uh, the Oppenheim. Little oh of, God, I'm losing it! I can't hold it. <laughs> little bit of earth. <laughs> I was just, I, it was, I can't hold all these strands. <laughs> so what, why is Daniel milking a cow? Why? <laughs> Maybe I should turn on the volume. 
Is it just Toby oh, yeah. in the train? <laughs> <laughs> Except there's no train and he's just. <laughs> I, I feel like a gateway if it were me. If I were me and I were the Ashima. I hope you are you. Weaving, I hope I'm me as well. <laughs> if um, I, I would, exactly I would, the same I person, love, but also lived in the world of the weekly. I love the idea of representing the plane that you're traveling to, the plane that you're at, bringing them together, and then twisting the weave. Uh, right? Because that's what they talk about. They talk about thinking about the place you want to go, the place you are, and boring a hole between the two. So if you came yeah, there, you just. It's what I do. <laughs> it's what I, I do. It's, it's like literally every when like I'm my life. When I'm sitting in my bed alone at night and I cannot go to sleep, I just think of the wheel of time. <laughs> so, but no, you got where you want to go, where you are. You bring them together, and that's where you get the spiraling motion in the weed. So I'm hoping that it opens up like a like an iris kind of a thing, and that's just. Just that would be great. Now we know that Andral doesn't need to do that. Andral's just like. <laughs> well, Andral's like. Come here, gateway. <laughs> yes. He's like, hey, I need a small gateway oh, to oh, cut I'm this sorry. this leather strap. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There's there's a dream spike in the What's... room. Maybe I'll need two fingers for this. <laughs> well, let's let's talk about that. The most mundane use for one of the most incredible weeds. So a gateway to cut the leather strap. Are you kidding me? Well, the Mahal well, does tell him to use Sidene as much I as I mean, possible. that is true. It's a fair point. Well, he makes also, it work, but again, it's just use... mind-boggling. Like, this literally breaks the laws of space-time. <laughs> He's just like, and I cut a leather strap with it. See, but, but again, yeah. no, but like, think about it. I mean, but it think is. about it from Andrew's perspective. Can't to get else. that much fire to go ahead and burn a leather strap or a sword to cut the leather strap or whatever it takes him it's this much sighting. But to make a gateway, it takes this much sighting. <laughs> That's I'm a like, valid knows, point. I'm not I'm saying I'm real good understand. at gateways, so I'm going to figure out every possible <laughs> if, gateway. If, if, if Andrew, I'm not saying I don't understand. I'm just saying it is mind blowing. If Andrew it. tried to do Rand's like fire sword. He would end up with like a fire and leaf. <laughs> but when he a makes fire it, when, a fire when, ice pick. When he and Rand make gateways next to each other, they're the same goddamn size. Exactly. And then Rand is like, <laughs> and Andrew's like, <laughs> bro, well, making us look weird. It's so, just using like the zoom in feature on the phone. Oh, that's it right there. Well, so I was, I was about to say, I mine's a little bit more mundane of an example. Uh, but <laughs> I walk up to automatic doors. If I you have, do not. If I have hands free, I absolutely go like this. You are you are that guy. Riley. Yeah. Every single time you walk up to a you walk up to an automatic doors, and as soon as you get to the point where you think they're gonna open, you just uh, and that's one hundred percent what I would do for a gateway. Is just like, I mean, they've sh they, you know it's it's pretty well established in the canon. It's like it's a personality thing, right? Yeah, it's it's based on that. your experience. <laughs> it's based on your experience. It's based on you know how you came about that particular Indeed. capability or that particular weave, which is why Avienda feels shame that she has to peel the tent flat back instead of just <laughs> whatever I said I do. I don't know. But is that, is, that, is that part of the way you also have a that is part of the weave, yes. When I said I do it, little known fact, when I said I open a gateway, they're like that's it. That's how they do. All right, Andrew. Do you have a do you have a gateway? Do you have a gateway weave? What's your gateway weave? No, I don't have a gateway weave. You don't have a gateway weave. Uh, well, you don't know you're supposed to okay. get into the heart Not of the everyone stuff, can you do don't it. have a gateway weave. Not everyone can I do like it. the door mechanic. I like the idea that you just can't. No, that's okay. I Open like the door. It's simple. See, it's efficient. Yeah. It works. Actually, very like similar to the ice and eye. Instead of bleh, it's green. <laughs> it's the sound effect that matters. It is. <laughs> See, we we determined that Greek emotions don't. Emotions. But I'm pretty sure that's sound effects do. Yeah, it's just sound, sound of it. You know, sound effects is not something they. They talk do have about a vocal them. element. In them. They do. Ooh. They don't. They don't require semantic, but they require vocal. Whoa. What weave requires a vocal? All of them. All of them. You just don't hear it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. It's like Dragon. It's 
It's like Dragon Ball Z. If you don't say the name of your attack, nothing happens. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, wait, wait. Now, so the Wheel of Time is now... Time, thankfully, in Wheel of Time, it doesn't take an <laughs> hour and a half for you to say the name of the Wii. <laughs> like, if you... Yeah. Wheel you, of Time you, is now a pretentious anime. <laughs> if you just weave Bellfire, it's just like wait. a strand of hair, but if you say Bellfire, it'll be faster. Bellfire! Oh, you're right. Then I promised we would have And there goes Happy Hour. Expecto! <laughs> Black Shroud! <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay. I stand corrected. All right. Hold on. Although, okay, hold on. I will draw one critique okay. of this. Just one. <laughs> yes, and I believe it is a powerful one. A powerful one? Rolling Ring of Earth and Fire! Rolling Ring of Earth and Fire! Rolling! No, it doesn't it's work. It's the Don no. Cheadle, Captain no. Planet. <laughs> no, you say it quietly to yourself. Okay. Uh, quietly. Yes. Because we say it out loud, I know what you're doing. Oh, Rolling ring of earth and fire. <laughs> Rolling ring. Of earth. It also helps oh. if you have like one eye closed a little bit and furrowed brown. You're just like. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I I feel like you made that one up. I don't know. <laughs> There's a. What the actual oh, finger gun. You know finger guns is a weak. Okay, well, okay, well, well, well. Here's finger the thing. Guns is first first audience arrows. question. Finger guns no. is no. what we what do you use? Seduction. Hold on. Seduction. The audience question. You're not an audience. Seduction. <laughs> All right. What is finger guns? Go and raise a hand. Raise your hand. All right. I don't know if it's going to go that way. I can't recall the actual uh, name of it, but in Night of Dreams, the little red uh, beans that were in the sheets. Ooh, the little red beans. The little, yeah. The oh, ones that, yeah. The, the red beans? That he, like, the arrows of fire? The arrows, yeah, of, arrows fire. of fire, yeah. That's what I just said. No, I know. Yes, but, <laughs> thank you. But as we all know from a certain game huh? show, it's actually seduction. <laughs> I'm probably up for a green with you. Everybody knows that's the right course of action here. What about, what about anybody else? Is anybody else out? The creators got one. I'll come back as far as I can. But. We don't have fancy wireless it's, mics around here. It's Balefire. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm Balefire the shit out of you. So, so now here's a question. Well, no, it is, it is Balefire specifically for Rin. Yes, it's random. Given it's how much he uses specific fail fire. Can you tell me, you guys can you show me that story? Rand Balefire is. Yeah, Maureen, so, so Maureen walks into the heart of the stone, flips her leather collar, and is like, yeah. So, <laughs> so now I have a new question. Yeah, what about the water bottle? Oh! <laughs> okay. That's terrifying. We just had, had, okay, I need you to say that. I need you to say that in the mic. Just a line of Picasso and paper. No, oh, oh, shit, my bad. I cannot recreate that. That's a mistake. You need that. There was no. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 The click. The what? The click. The click. The click. I never. What? With the C. With the C. K. K on the end. I, I got you. There. I got you now. No, I got, I'm going to stand up here then. Because we're going to invariably we're going to have more people who want. Because Josh was definitely teams. like, no, instead of taking the open mic that's here at the end, let's take the one that's in front of Daniel that he's been talking into. Right. Right. Well, yeah, because as we've been over on the podcast time and time again, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it's a fact. I'm fuck your head and the neck it rode in on. <laughs> so, right, so, so I actually have a question for the, the Balefire one. All right, all right. Balefire. So obviously there are different... Uh, levels of fail fire and it gets larger and more intense do the finger guns add fingers <laughs> as you oh. as you get me is okay is i'm now on board a knife <laughs> hand is the ultimate bail fire is ram yeah. standing there at natural or yeah natural bail right it just being like all right <laughs> yes yes that is that is a hundred percent. It's, it's not even a it's not even a click anymore. It's definitely just like yeah. <laughs> also now love the idea of one of the Ashman drill instructors teaching a class. Somebody gets on the nerves like, listen here, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, back in the day we did an ask in Ashman. 
which we is did, a fun yeah. hashtag. Yes. yes. When I first joined. Yeah. No, it was yes. very fun. It was great. I was confirmed. And uh, we had a game, and it was uh, how much bale fire can you withstand <laughs> and still survive? Spoiler alert, the answer is zero. <laughs> <laughs> we lost a lot of good stuff. <laughs> it used to be a fun drinking game. But... <laughs> Started That's... wondering how come nobody ever comes to the tower. Things also got really fucky those <laughs> nights. Okay, so I some some random like... girl in the countryside turned into crystal to fix it. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I see. Wow. Wow. You. Wow. All right. All right. And well, in this so scenario, it wasn't a queen. It's yeah. just a repeat oh, of the sure. event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, the mornings like... change. Morning huh? states, like right? Right? Oh. Yes. There's, There's right. always a pop. So okay. So what about? A, a weave that's like lesser used or aligning lesser the matrix. Known. Let's do aligning do you the matrix have one in the mind or in, in mind. <laughs> I can't really do like so. My brain's going to like D and D, so I'm talking about like the purified food. Or I literally just gave you one. What aligning the matrix? Aligning the matrix. That's what um the all no the 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 discovery the creation of uh Molyneux. It's also the one that Mogini tries to teach uh, them. Oh, okay. like, she's not good. Aligning, you know, aligning, aligning the, matrix. the matrix. I actually think it's. I, I've got. I've, I've got this one. Andrew's, I think Andrew's I going this. deep. Okay. Well, I so also have the wiki up. So this is back. why. This is why he needed to Cheater. go ahead and pull in so Cheater. many other people because it's actually that game that you used to play in like elementary school. So there's just all of the people sitting around in a circle being like. <laughs> you never played that game? I played the one where you did both hands like that. So oh, no, no, no. So you sit around in a circle and everybody has their right hand on top of the other person's left hand, and you slap the person on the left hand, and, and then they slap the, the next person, and they slap the next person, and it goes around and around, and it's a rhythm that you have to keep up while you. While you sing a song. What the fuck did y'all do in school? <laughs> Not learn anything, apparently. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I, okay, I, I will come to Daniel. Down by the banks of a hanky panky where the little frogs jump from bank to bank. You wear the eeps, ives, oves, ops. Hey, Mr. Little Pen, go curve pop. I'll see you in the See, now it's even regional. We're going to I'm in, the Iowa, I'm in the I'm in the Iowa waste, and this he's is, over on the this is spread, yeah. wandering so around, humming a tune, and someone's like, "Oh yeah, I know that one. That's Maiden drinks from a brown jug." And he's like, "No, it's not. It's a dude stands a trolley with a sword." <laughs> That's the song that everybody knows. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, but of course, Matt's sitting there with like knowledge from thousands of years ago. <laughs> yeah, <the> point exactly. <laughs> Um, all right, so, okay, so the actual answers. Actual answers. That was a oh, lot of fire, answers. some earth, some mm -hmm. spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Aligning the matrix is going to be a weave that they used when Perrin was forging the mm -hmm. and it was the rediscovery. Uh, it, it's, it's the fancy name for the rediscovery of making power rod weapons, imbuing mm -hmm. metallic bits and pieces with the one power. And it was uh, super awesome. I actually really love this scene in the books because you've got Perrin who's like, oh, I'm just working at my forge. I'm just doing what to do. Oh my God. And then at Ashaban. My wife. My wife. He's like, he's like, you know, if you want, I could like keep that warm for you. <laughs> and Perrin's like, yeah, cool. You please never say that that way ever again. <laughs> Or always say it that way. No. It sounds a lot One more scandy than I remember reading. And then, and then Perrin's like, cool, heat it up to about here. And he's like, I got you, man. And then Perrin's like, he's just going to town. And then everyone, it's like, he's chaos. just going to it's town. There's chaos and madness around him. Everyone else is like, what the hell are you doing, dude? He's like, I don't know, I'm just doing it. And they're like, no, for real, what are you doing? <laughs> I, I have, know, I'm just doing it! I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know that I'm doing it really I well. Had, <laughs> that, was, that, was Andy, that was Andy Dwyer. Ashaman, Andy Dwyer. And then the wise ones are like, what are you guys doing? And the was like, I don't know! And they're like, never want to leave. Now, what is he doing? What is he doing? The male Chandler started grunting. Link immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's, what were his hands? Did he have hand motions? Well, he probably oh did. Oh my god, he was Salt Bay. 
<laughs> it was Andy Dwyer as Salt Bay. He was like, I was thinking more like Pixie <laughs> And then like 14 hours later, he's like, Ugh. Or are you sure? I I feel like it might have just been Bo Burnham just being like. <laughs> For 14 hours though? For like, 14 hours. It's better than other motions. We, we have some very fabulous Ashaman. Uh, we like, absolutely have some very fabulous Ashaman. <laughs> that way. It's better than the Super Bowl burger, so we'll see. <laughs> so, like okay. That. So, but, but for real though, like. As an Ashaman, I'm pretty putting sure he... weaves into the metal. I'm sure he was just like. <laughs> I'm sure it started it out was as pumping like the bellows. Yeah. Well, I was. It I'm was pretty sure it started out as, and then eventually was just like. I think it's actually good uh, premise to say that he was using hand motions because he was doing something he wasn't familiar with. He was doing something that just. Oh, right. So you're probably right. He started out with a fire. He was like, okay, some fire, get it warm. You know, if we did this, and then if I did that, and then if I was like, Here you go. like this, and then if I did this, and then by the end of it, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I also love, I, I think my favorite part about this headcanon is imagining everybody else. First, He's waterbending. He's waterbending. <laughs> I think my favorite two things about this headcanon are number one, why does everybody come over and go, what the fuck are you doing? Because he's standing there going, fuckers, fuckers. And then I also love the idea of just the flash mob of people around Baron just all going like, yes, no, do it. I love it. What is this? I don't know. That is awesome. Wacky radio. It's like Malarn Two Man. Well, and and again, we've actually talked about this scene a couple of times. I love that headcanon because Perrin at the end of forging like puts down his hammer and looks up at everybody and he's like, Oh, you guys are here. The ground is all black and burnt. It's just like, no man. wonder Fayil got stolen out from under your nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Shade. Yeah. Yeah. Water yeah. and also shade. <laughs> that was a good one, though. I like that one. What, are you, what about you, Andrew? What, what hand motion is aligning the matrix? <laughs> Since you're the asshole that brought it. Aligning <laughs> the matrix. <laughs> You said a not really popular. I, did. One. I mean, it's a popular right. event, but nobody uses it except for him. Well, and then they use it. And Mogidian, like everything else, fails at it. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, well, so I, I think it's just like an iron. <laughs> the only the only thing he can think of in his head that like smooths things out and makes them better is a literally ironing clothes. But he's just he's just ironing in the air. <laughs> like parents over here, just like hammering, like his life depends on it. And the other's just like. <laughs> At first. So what are you doing? I have no idea. Well, here's the thing. Here's that the thing. verbal component. Towards the end, <laughs> though, the he's humming. so exhausted. The humming is what gives it power. It. You gotta remember, he's so exhausted. That's why it vibrates with heat. He's like this. <laughs> <laughs> like he's putting a lot of focus on that. And then somebody comes in and says, hey man, don't pop a blood vessel. <laughs> and the dog <laughs> And then the here is no <laughs> And Perrin's like, where the fuck did this stuff go? <laughs> not, no, no, Perrin goes, not again. <laughs> Just imagine the pranks you could pull with Delphi. No. I'm, no not, Andrew. I'm not saying do it. Someone get this man some wine. I'm not saying you should do it. I'm just saying it would be funny. Would it be wrong? Absolutely. Yes. Would it be hilarious? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, audience poll. What's another weave? What's another weave? Death gate. Death gate. We have an Ashima in the back saying death gate. All right, what's a death gate? So it's a it's a gateway mm -hmm. that moves around, right? So you're all kind of kind technically of. no, but yes. Okay, no, well you no, know, throw it but out. Correct me then. So it's the rapid opening and closing of a gateway. 
uh, in different locations. So it makes it look like it's spinning around moving, but it's really well, just. They do move as well. Yeah, well, it's. Oh, did they fully open? They did move as well because they used to chat as well. That's true. I also love how you. I mean, I know they they change location, but I don't know if that's the one. Physically, like you're just killing a hundred people at a time, and you're just like. So so here it is. You have to open up the gateway first. Okay. Yeah, no, so, the opening and closing rapidly. So it looks like they move. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying you're correct. <laughs> uh, you should be pretty happy. Yeah, yeah. You got it. You did it. You 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 did it. You're correct on that. That that is 100% what it was. I think you get like your regular gateway, and then it just becomes like the Beyblade. Let it rip every time. <laughs> oh, the lawnmower just yeah, they're just sitting there just. <laughs> and put it in your shopping bag. <laughs> There's another one that we haven't discussed. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, definitely. We got a whole lot of disco going on with so, that. Yeah. So basically, what we're talking about is the fact that the Ashman and Black Tower are a really dangerous, like dance troupe. dance chorus. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Just there. It's a dance troupe thing. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Just taking out everybody. <laughs> <laughs> cool off, cool boy. <laughs> this is the most Broadway. That's, that's actually how they form the line at Demise Ball. That's exactly what they Just you just Imagine saying form a line and they're all just Guys, this they're is all a, just standing there like a confession of mine. <laughs> the reason I love the Black Tower so much is that it's always headcanon of mine. It was always been a, a Black Tower, like mean ass dance line. Oh, yeah. Like, coming up and like, this well, can't even work. This can't even work in the last battle. This can't, no, this can't even work in Demise Wells. Watch. We're coming out of the gateway, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and can you just imagine? Hold on. Hold on. Now start singing. Rolling ring and burning fire. Rolling ring and burning fire. As they come out like this, holding the sword, getting into formation, and then once they're in formation, boom! That's it. It's done. It's no, can it, I, I, I think my favorite part about this is, can you imagine by the time that the last battle happens, the Trollocs have experienced the Ashraman enough <laughs> that just, they're like coming in, they're it's wrecking just, shit, and they, they like just sheer off in cows. the distance, just. <laughs> <laughs> Not and every merger, every merger all in a hundred miles is like, get the fuck <laughs> out of here. Yeah! I'm so happy. You see a merge on now, but like, motherfuckers, that goddamn jazz fingers. <laughs> you guys, no, for real, you don't want to fuck with jazz fingers. Retreat, retreat. No, I can, I can just imagine Mazram time being like, I gave them a signal. You'll know they're coming when you hear the sound. Sadly, that's probably more accurate. Like, ha, assholes are snapping over there. <laughs> Which. Is that finger guns? I don't even know what a gun is, but is that finger guns? <laughs> what is this gun you Is that on? finger dragons? Finger dragons. Finger, finger dragons. dragons. Poof. Poof. Watch my fire. Hole. Which is a cool name, but not an action I recommend. <laughs> Do you have to make this out as well? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 What if you want to do a really big fireball? Is that... Is this just spirit shotgun? Spirit shotgun from you. No, because that would be multiple balls. You just need one big. Four. You don't have. You don't send out multiple balls. That sounds painful. You should always send out multiple balls. You have two kids. I'm pretty sure. You have <laughs> balls. I don't All know. right, guys. My word. That's a different weave, Daniel. That's a that's an entirely different weave. All right. So here's one that I actually think is. It's similar to Rolling Ring of Earth and Fire. <laughs> it's also very much behind the paywall. Except it's, it's instead of your arms like this, they're like that. <laughs> uh, all right, so it, here's here's one I think is interesting, and maybe you guys can help me out with that. Uh, they talk about in the books 
um, cre- changing something from what it is to Quindiar. Ooh. And they have whole groups of novices and accepted sitting around going ahead and staring at pieces of pottery <laughs> and just okay. creating okay. and just iron changing them. Oh, do they, is it iron? It is iron. But I, I actually do have a head cannon for this. Okay. And it cracks me up. Who the hell is milking tea? To no end. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Is that the child we use? I don't know. I don't know. It's the one that turns stuff into into nukes. Oh. (laughs) That's what I was doing earlier. (laughs) Oh, no, I love the description. It's one of the ones that Mogidian remembers. Nobody knows what the effect is, but the theory (laughs) is it has something with controlling emotions. And I'm like, is that just post nut clarity? This might be the most useful weave in all the years. Here's the hand motion. Here's the hand motion. And be free. Go away, bad thoughts. The awesome men are standing around you guys ready to plan. Oh god, what am I doing with my life? That's actually a requirement as you walk into an Ashraman meeting at the meeting space. You just lock and you go, oh, hold on, hold on, at the door. We don't want you to be <laughs> oh, all right, cool. distracted with anything. Here Sorry, you go. Sorry <laughs> brother Ashraman, have you milked your tears yet? Can you only use that three times? <laughs> given that it doesn't actually holy shit, shit dude <laughs> given that it doesn't if you're using Sidene, yes <laughs> Sidere all fucking day long Sidene, you got three <laughs> but but those three are more intense <laughs> You broke Josh! You broke Josh! So, FYI, all day long. Sign in, you get free. (laughs) Make them count. Uh, So, just FYI to anybody here uh, who has not listened to the podcast. Uh, if you are part of our Discord <laughs> and you watch one of our shows uh, and you make all three of us laugh to the point where we cannot continue the episode, <laughs> we have a role in our Discord that is yes. called the Triple Broken Crown. <laughs> we only have one recipient. Two. two. There, two. We do have two. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Morshadi was the first. Morshadi I cannot actually exactly remember. Right who the second one is, but I know there are two. I could find out. I could look at the roles, but sure. that requires Andrew, me to click more you buttons. Yeah, yeah. You can Son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, just as a, a, if any of you are like challenge accepted, please feel free to pop in. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I thought you were. AKA the... The... Mm. It is a relic from a bygone age. <laughs> it's one of them there, viewing squares. One of them there, viewing squares. Is that one of them there shitty call boxes? <laughs> idiot, oh, the idiot boxes? Okay. It's the call boxes just all based on think about, All I can think about with the idiot boxes, because we do know it is a tier of 3 L that requires side yeah, yeah. no, right, to use it. And it opens up a random ass gateway to a random ass place. We have five. Oh, oh wait. No, no, we never, never oh, because we never each mind. have it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it auto gave it us. Ryan. It's, it's brother, brother Ryan. Ryan. Ryan has the I, I other one. Ryan. Brother Ryan has the other one, one of the puppets. One of the, one I am not surprised. <laughs> I wonder how he did it. In fact, I'm actually slightly surprised that Brother Dan doesn't have it. Oh, shame. I think I probably broke the game. You're going to have to try harder, I guess. Try harder. You're going to need to be a try hard. <laughs> Just this once. No, I love I love the I love the mental image of the Shido with their call. <laughs> like sitting there, like, they're idiot boxes, like horse stance, right? Like, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's not working. Keep trying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I'm actually offended, Josh. Oh, they have a weave in their neck for so men's ass. So what's new? Thunderclap. Thunderclap. Oh, it's oh, Min? Min's? That, no, that's definitely not that. That's definitely not that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> There's the thunderclap. Well, I just, I just love how you're giving, you're not giving the Shido nearly enough credit. Just work. I did. <laughs> it's a prerequisite did. for the weave, man. Don't judge. Yeah. I'm not judging. It was I, a, that was a weave I never had a particular talent with. <laughs> Not with that. Something about, <laughs> something about the wrong skin pigment. Only special guys. Wow. All right. All right. Just because you're right doesn't mean you have to say it out loud. Oh, bad. <laughs> oh, bad guys. Sorry. Love you. No, I just love how you're not giving the Shido enough credit. Okay. You absolutely know that that grunt was not standing there being like, can I stop now? It was like, this is my only purpose. <laughs> and I'm going to do it until my arm falls off. <laughs> because I am from the threefold land, motherfucker. <laughs> And some other wetlander was walking past them being like, dude, you should stop. <laughs> do, do you know you're missing half a finger? And you bled like all over <laughs> Shut up! I'm doing my duty! Yikes. <laughs> what is another weed? Hey, anybody have another weed? What's another weed? Come on. Say that again into the microphone. Compulsion. <laughs> compulsion, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure it's, it's the same way that we use compulsion in real life. Forbidden. Someone walks up to the other person and goes, the power of Christ compels you! <laughs> <laughs> Just right in the forehead. <laughs> I like mine. Not where I thought you were going there, go. Okay, so there's, I, there's another good one. I think it's you're just, actually in the frame. So hey, nice, yeah. I think it's just one. the rock smoldering gaze. Ooh, the, the smolder, the rock smolder. <laughs> it's immediately. He does, he, but he does it. He does the yeah. with the eyebrows. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's your special ability, smolder? Smoldering intensity. Yeah. <laughs> Do you compel what the rock is cooking? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know. Interestingly enough, do we get any information canonically? About hand motions that the Forsaken use. No, because they actually, actually, we do canonically. They actually look at Ice and I and go, "What fucking idiots? Why are you doing hand motions? What are they doing with you? Yeah. See, you children! It. You look. absolute look. children! Look, look. Huh. you're still, huh. you're on fire." Huh. You're dead. <laughs> Avada Kedavra. <Kedobra. laughs> Did you just try to Avada Kedavra a baby? Why didn't you throw it out the window, you complete moron? <laughs> this is actually a fun product to the show, though, because Ishamiel's all like, hey, Moran, what's up? And she's like, ah! <laughs> Right? Like, even that, I, I, it's Yeah, nice no, she makes that exact noise. Correct, 100%. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rewatch it. She does. <laughs> um, but no, but it's interesting that they're kind of keeping that same feeling from the books too. Because again, Marine is all like, oh, I'm little and you so He's just like, <laughs> you, you know how I feel about you. You know how I feel about that scene. Dude, I know. I feel, I feel, I have feelings about it. We're not that. talking about it. We're not talking about it. We're talking about it. I mean, I am tomorrow in a panel, but. <laughs> yeah, you have fun. I am also. What do you do with the extra five minutes? Add in an apology. <laughs> Before the episode Ooh, starts, I Rafe Judkins enters frame. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, can't, he can't apologize. Rand didn't do any hand motions. I don't like Rand. Uh, Rand absolutely he, does he, hand he motions. He does his little thing. He does. He, he does did do some. Motions. Well, he did this. He did the expecto patronum one, which is the. <laughs> that one. The absolutely the Sangreal. I'm very epic and in a TV show. Or on a camera. Is that gonna be his move? That it, I think it oh, should I, be now forever. I Every single bail fire? He also he also did swipe at Machin Shin. 
In fires, oh they yeah, that's in right. fires they have a heat. They describe a whole lot of hand waving when you're doing the chase of after Robin. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. And well, I also trying to dispel, dispel one of the traps. Uh, I also love this one, yeah. the Trolloc. the Trolloc in the ways. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Because again, it was it was scared yeah. like it wasn't even like really a hand motion. It was like, oh my god, I'm scared. But then the waves come out of his hands and they're just like Trolloc gone. Like <laughs> Trolloc be gone. I'm alive. <laughs> I can I can see when you're trying to take apart a trap or, or something that someone's up like. I can see someone being like Like, you know, like trying to undo a knot in your Christmas lights every year. <laughs> that's that's exactly what unraveling a, a, a weave is. And sometimes it works and sometimes you're like... Yeah, once you're done with your shibari, you're just... That's right. Sometimes your Christmas lights blow up and you're no longer the... And you're now the only guy in the neighborhood without Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's and your wife is crying and your kids are screaming and it's just a, it's And not. it's the worst Christmas. <laughs> and it's all your fault. And it's all your fault because you didn't learn oh, wait, about just stupid weaves. <laughs> Andrew's got one up. I think it's cool. Cutting weaves. Huh? Cut the weaves. Well, I mean, well, that's just what you were talking about. It is. Oh, when you're trying to like, un it's, it's in the process of weaving. So it's before the trap is set, but whenever they would try to literally slice the weaves. Yeah. Do you know what's interesting about that too, though, is it suggests, as as we know from other interactions from Andrew at times, that there is a time requirement for sending some of these things to other people. Oh yeah. There's a time requirement. I can't just be like, you're dead. I mean, well, it depends like, on. A, it, it takes time to form. I think it depends on how you do it. That was what I was going to say. It depends a lot of on people how like... strong you are, how experienced you are with that weave, how far it is that you're going. Like all of these different things just add to your time requirement. Like just so, be, just because Bellfire, we always see it come from somebody's hand, doesn't mean you can't just like Bellfire there. Right, <laughs> there there's the nothing. Hand motions, right, speak to like the learning of it yeah. and like thinking of it in your mind's eye on how to do the thing or where you want the thing to go. Like so you want the you want the bell fire to go there. So like that's your hand motion or opening the door and so that's your gateway. So like thinking about thinking and you're doing such a good job holding that one. Like we speak with our hands, right? So like that's chance to reason that learning how to do a weave, you would use your hands also. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so how you think about doing the thing, you're gonna use your hands. Which is actually Josh actually brought that up earlier. I, I appreciated that in the aligning the matrix that I, I actually do kind of hear what you're saying and and to a certain extent very much agree with it's the first time he's doing it and he has no idea what he's doing. I'm guessing that they're actually a little bit kind, and I use that word very, very loosely, to the Ashaman in the tower as they're like doing the weaves the first time because it's like, okay, well, I don't want you to send your fireball into my face. So like definitely throw your fireball that direction with your hand. Now that you've gotten a little bit of understanding of what you're doing with the power, stop using your goddamn hand. <laughs> but again, when he's first starting to align the matrix, he's no an idea what he's doing. So he probably actually is kind of directing. I don't know any of the fire bending forms. That probably would have been more accurate. Yeah. Fire bending. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's interesting. Now, you're earth bending right now, but okay. I know. I don't yeah. know it. I just <laughs> said it. <laughs> there is no more embossing say, god oh, damn it. It's so judgmental. Okay. So there, there is nothing that says you can't just start the weaves or send the weaves wherever and have the effect happen at a distant location. Because they do it often. I mean, to a micro degree, they do it with gateways. Well, until, well, you know, the end where they're they like, the huh, I'm spying on everybody. Be like, that pill yeah, so they show that they can do it, <laughs> but the 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 weird part about it is the Forsaken never do it really. Yeah, and other than other than a massive like bombardment style combat weaves, everybody fireballs a hilltop, everybody calls lightning on a hilltop, everybody tries to kill Cat Swain. Like it's a bad thing, to including go to all three of us. Time. Yeah, no, in definitely. Star Wars High Ground, awesome. In Wheel of Time High Ground, very dangerous. <laughs> 
Though it is interesting that Rand creates his own high ground in the battle for Carrie. <laughs> well, Let me like... put myself on the most dangerous <laughs> place ever. And then dare a motherfucker. Come not only let me put myself there, let me manufacture the most dangerous place ever and then stand right there. Is it arrogance or confidence? Both. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's arrogance if you lose. It's confidence if you win. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't you do that. Sure. I'll die I'm pretty still. sure we can all still agree that it's uh, <laughs> There it is. There it is. My co-hosts are like, no, fuck you, dude. That's not cool. Everybody else is like, nice joke. No, I, I got it. I just didn't think it was funny. Uh, why are we friends? God. Because you love me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so happy. And Andrew's over here like, <laughs> go kill them both. I mean, after what, three and a half, almost four years, I'm just going to like... <laughs> I'm just used to it. I just sit here and I just stare at stuff until we go one. Here's, here's okay. I, I would like to get. They'll, they'll tire themselves out eventually, and we'll just resume. <laughs> we just um, we're toddlers. Great, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, here's one. I mean, I have my. Hey, I represent too. that remark. <laughs> I'm I'm actually a little upset, and and I'm going to say that we're going to see more of this in the fourth age. But I'm a little upset that we didn't see any uh, augmentation. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? What do I mean by that? I'm a two rivers. What do you mean by long that, Josh? Bowman Who can also channel? I pull back my arrow and let it go, and I can go out what 200 yards or whatever the the distance is. Continue. Yeah. 300 yards. Thank yeah. you. Well, you can't pull a two rivers longbow, so yeah, that's probably about. Yeah, yeah. I was oh. from the two rivers. Oh. What? Oh. But <laughs> if I'm from the two rivers, and if I can. Pull back a longbow. Okay, this is and a lot I of channel Sidine. There's a lot now, of guess what? I can augment that arrow with air or fire or water or whatever I want to. And I can go 300 yards, I can go 500 Ideas. yards. Just like Medicare. So game. <laughs> if you can if you can weave traps and you can tie off the weaves, what's yes! stopping you from making exploding arrows that you just yes! hand out to your army? Thank you. And what is stopping us is that motherfucker, Nazar <laughs> Shoot bow and arrow. Yeah. There. What's that? A conventional weapon? I tell Sidi. No real channeler needs such peasant weapons. And then, and then, and it's funny too because so uncivil. Rand comes back and he's like, "Hey, so where's that fighting instructor? Where's the fighting class?" And Tang's like, <laughs> "We do Sidi in here, sir." And he's well, like, I Oh, oh yeah, what happens if you're shielded by 1,500 Aes Sedai? 50 oh, I just killed them all with Sidene. <laughs> this man waited 347 and goes, ages to get I killed. was in a box. <laughs> I've been there. You don't talk to me. But that's, yeah. that, but, that's, that was our first indication that Taim was a Forsaken. He was, yeah. Okay. When he was like, oh, you're adorable little swords. <laughs> But you think about it too, like, and they even did this in Aragon, which I'm definitely not a nerd with because it's magic. When they do sparring and they toot their magic and they're like, they magically blunt the edges of their blades mm -hmm. to affect the spar without killing each other. And I'm thinking to myself, that's an OSHA violation. You're an OSHA violation. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, if Ashaman had Sidene augmented weapons and even hand to hand combat training, how much more could did you just turn an Ashaman into Sakura? It's like a child for control I, punches. I hate that you said that, because yes. <laughs> <laughs> now I immediately regret everything I said to this point. Mission accomplished. Okay, we okay, also... What were you going to say about that? You're good. He's good. He's we also about. disagree with everything you said. It, it's true. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's compulsion. This is... <laughs> This is uh, compulsion if you're in Sean Chan. <laughs> you know what for compulsion? It's the Care Bears. Oh, <laughs> you need to come up and demonstrate that on camera. You need to do that. All right, so actually we're getting into that part of uh, the, the evening. I actually would love 
to yes. see oh some audience members doing some weaves. Come on, I'm you know you want ready. to. I know, I'm aware. You just, you were too early. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be. That's normally what I hear, not what I say. That we have not demonstrated yes. yet. No, that is important. Something new. That's a weave. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, uh, Fuck this hill in particular. It is, <laughs> it is to send I do not a I don't you, sir, but I do buy it. Not. It's actually also interesting. That one also has a verbal component. Uh, <laughs> and it's whatever accent yours is, is fuck that hill in particular. <laughs> you're like, dude, you're from Texas. Yeah, shut up, man. That's how the week works. <laughs> fuck that hill in particular. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, is that because that's how we work? Is that is that part of compulsion? <laughs> Bro, you're from Houston. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's how the weave works. Is that is that also part of like whatever compulsion thing is? I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, it could be. It could be if you would land them. That was the look. You come, you come to me today on the day of the last battle, and you try to think that you're a great captain. You never come to me. You never come to the tower unless you need something. But the day you come when the captain told you is a very bad time. To <laughs> you know what would be great is if you actually knew the monologue better, so Shut that you could go ahead and like. <laughs> I don't need your judgment right now, okay? Sorry. You never I'm, need my judgment, but I give it freely anyway. <laughs> keep coming back for more. All, All right, right so cool. Yeah, we're, so first part of this is everybody just go ahead and start shouting out some weaves that you would like to see done. Now, this can be very selfish because if you say a weave I like and you already have a thought behind it, then you're ahead of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and write these down. Well, now we are also audio. It's probably just the shittiest song. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we've actually got shitty messages. <laughs> well, actually, this is kind of the right time to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and talk to the audience. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, you right. Your bed, right? All right. So everybody go ahead and just start giving me weaves. Mirror mist. Mirror mist. Healing. 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 Warding. 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 Shielding. 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 Whoa. Shielding. Whoa. Eavesdropping. Ooh, that's a good one. Eavesdropping. So, yeah, that's what you want to know. Repeat some flame to roll. So we have to remove the taint. Oh, the weave to remove the cleansing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. the so, so, the ground blowing up. Up. The ground blowing up. Oh, it's like a line. Yeah. 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 B90 black boo. Taint healing. Shit. So the Yeah. 
Sound uh, sound 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 okay, so it appears that we still have audio. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I thought. So the, the camera is taking the audio. And I turn the mute button. How long are you going to say welcome, computer? So they don't touch anything. Don't uh, forget yeah. this all together. <laughs> you to your voice with the other one. She can tell them that camera. It's asking mine. Like this thing of felony over here. This thing that is full of felony. The mind wave. Oh, that's that's not a felony. That's an atrocity. Your crimes against humanity and cameras will not be going. All right, so cool. We have a nice list. I like these. We're gonna pull out a few of them, and then we're gonna get our takes on them. And we're gonna get a few volunteers to go ahead and do uh, whatever they want. And then for two <laughs> random ones that I get to decide on, uh, we are going to have the audience vote on who has the best uh, demonstration, and that person is going to get a coin. <laughs> who wants it? Everyone wants it. It's a trick question. It's a trick question. You all want it. All right, so we are actually going to start with the cleansing. Now, keep in mind, this is a weave that someone held. You're still holding the mic for an entire day. <laughs> Shut! It's a weave. <laughs> Let it go, but let me close my mouth. I can't podcast without a microphone in my face. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds just like it. <laughs> Why do you think I'm not correcting it? <laughs> I think my favorite part, though, is that he's holding the one in front of him. And he also has one inches away from his body. <laughs> this one is turned down, though. So We're all not you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Welcome to the Black Door Podcast. <laughs> Welcome to this color. Come and take a go around. <laughs> is that what we were supposed to choose? Yeah, that that one. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so that I feel like should be our uh, one idol parody song. Ooh. Welcome to the tower. <laughs> <laughs> We've got mountain <laughs> so we. <laughs> we should do it now. We should change it to the greatest show. The greatest Ooh! Show. It'll be fun. All right. So, uh, yeah. so cleansing. You were talking about how somebody held it for an so, entire life. So I'm, I'm gonna go to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most intense. It's the most intense oh, yeah, 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 example yeah. of edging we have in the entire He definitely does. Hold that. it! Hold it! For a week. Hold it! And you definitely don't want your weave to start turtle heading. That's what it's going to be right off. So I feel like <laughs> I feel like if Rand and I were like sitting there across from each other being like this, <laughs> I feel like that would be like something they would do, but not realistic. Because if they were like, Oh, this hurts. This is worse than like Because have you ever tried to hold down your arms like that for five minutes? It's yeah. impossible. It, it's it sucks yeah. so bad. It's so hard to do. I agree. So unless there's a couch behind you, and then it's actually a very good So so what you could do is a cat kind of thing. Making <laughs> 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 making it into a giant ice cream cone and being like, what's that funny? After a couple of hours though, Rand would be like, I finished, I plummet. <laughs> No, I, I now now that I have candidates, both of them is standing there with the joke on. <laughs> 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 oh, they're holding on the wall. Yeah. I like it. And as we know, I mean, I've already finished. 
He did. He did. He did. And so did she. <laughs> so did both, both of them were yeah, at the same time. Both of them were very tired <laughs> and very satisfied. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and so was everybody else. It was a very nice It was it was a group of energy. All right, so we've got tonguing it. <laughs> Josh, do you have another actual <laughs> So, as, as, as a young man reading these books, these, these books for the first time, so, I was also very into My Dragon Ball Z. And I think you know where I'm going with this. Because <laughs> he's the other. Um, oh, Gohan, no when he goes to the Supreme Con uh -huh. to unlock his potential. Uh -huh. And what happens? And they, Gohan's there like, is. and Supreme Kai's like, <laughs> and then Goku's like, the hell is going on right now? No, for real. This is not okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go fight the bad guy. And Gohan's like, okay, for real, how long is this going to take? And Supreme Kai's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Reading a comic and shit. <laughs> yes, a comic. Yeah, we don't talk about. It. You don't talk about. It. And at one point in time, Gohan gets all pissed off. He gets all impatient. He's like, "This is taking too long." But he like unleashes a lot of power, and he's like, "Oh, it's working." Okay, okay. So I feel like, <laughs> as a teenager reading this, that was my headcanon for like seriously. That was my headcanon for the scene. Is Rand and Nynaeve kind of sitting on the ground, cross-legged, channeling through the chosen call, the the weaves largely being envisioned in their minds, and just kind of going with it, just kind of doing the thing. And Rand is like, "Cool, I'm doing this now. I'm doing that. I'm doing this now. I'm doing that." And Nynaeve is like, "Okay, I'm just <laughs> do what you do." I feel like it's something akin to like having your hair pulled, but like in from your soul. <laughs> right? Like, having, having, your your hair, soul having your hair brushed or braided by somebody who doesn't know what they were doing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like, when you feel it across your entire body. The big C. The big C. The big C, yeah. yeah. Yes. So, but that, but that was always for, when it comes to like, what kind of motion or what kind of action that they were taking, it was always just kind of them just like, and Rand just being like, so the book describes it though. Yeah. It yeah just doing so what would you be doing if you were cleansing Sidine? That's kind of fighting a question. and dying. No, 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 no. no, no. For <laughs> <laughs> All right, Evan Hopwell. Why don't you show up? I'm not that cool. Come on. Jeez. All right. So what do you envision you would be doing if you were Rand? If it were me. Imagine it. Soft in soft your mind's eye. Soft serve. I'd have a cone, so and I'd be funny. making the world's biggest soft serve. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's grinding. All right. Well, you don't, you I can see the, the soft serve. Yeah. Get the and then at the end, the, the end, the end, hold on, we're kidding. <laughs> at the end, you pull the lever up, and you get the curtain cue. <laughs> there it is. That's it. <laughs> All right. Cool. Andrew, we'll, we'll consider. Well, because when you lick it, when you lick it, you're tasting it. You're being like, I did a good job. And then you give it to the customer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> quality check. Quality check. It's quality checks, guys. Gosh. I like the people who go ahead and make their soft serve all the way up and then just go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you do. That's how I make my best friends. <laughs> that's a great, that is, for, that's a great okay, conversation. Just to, just to clear the record, this is not how he made which, us his friends. Which, correct. <laughs> I don't know! This one. Okay. This one. All right, Andrew. Whoa. Whoa. Sit it down. Oh, okay, just FYI, everyone, these are his mics. They are mine. Yeah, so, mine. if he throws it across the room, he's the only person who has to worry about. Yeah, yeah. with the exception of that. Mother yeah. So, assault. <laughs> Andrew, That's if my you weave were Rand and things. you're envisioning yourself in this series and you are Andrew Davis. <laughs> he is. He, wait, what? Davis? Yeah, exactly. 
Davis? What? I'm just waiting to see if you're going to rule out the answer I already gave you. <laughs> I already gave you, you an answer, an answer that nobody for cleansing? Heard. Oh, no, not for the cleansing. No, for cleansing. Oh. Does, it, does it involve a specifically Towelette. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Uh, so we're cleansing like it's, it's just a, I think it's something like uh, <laughs> like squeezing the like fluid out of like a cheesecloth. Oh, <laughs> you're just sitting there like you're just you have to you're just twist it so the yeah. cheesecloth doesn't work for you. Exactly. So you're, you're, you're cup. You're so you're holding it up here. You're cupping it from behind and just spinning it. <laughs> no. Like that. And then when it gets nice and tight enough, you just Beautiful. squeeze. Beautiful. And you get every last juicy drop just of pure right side. Right into Shadar Lagoon. Now, wait a minute. Wait right a down. In in oh, yeah, all the tape falls out. In yeah. this model, is it the Wait, who's the model? Actually, no, Shadar Lagoon is the cheese. Model. Is it the tape that's there. being squeezed out? Or is it the tape that's being retained? The taint is being retained in my model. Okay. And Shadar Logoth is the cheesecloth. So Sidene is being so you squozen. You gotta grab Shadar Logoth by the cheesecloth. <laughs> <laughs> You're retaining the tank and then Sidene goes back. Get Sidene with the dick twist. Right. The, Give him the, the old meal. dick twist. <laughs> grab the Sidene and twist it. <laughs> No, no, no. Grab the taint. <laughs> grab the taint and twist it. If you can grab the taint, I'm impressed. <laughs> All right, so hey. that's like eagle talons. Like, <laughs> the that's, I'm in pain. So personally, I actually think that Nynaeve wasn't actually responding to what he was doing with oh, the power. How was she supposed to respond? No, no, that she wasn't responding to what he was doing I'm with the power. For this. They were actually just sitting cross-legged, and they had their arms over themselves. each other's knees, and they had them lay together. And every time Rand would change something, he would just squeeze her arms, and she'd be like, Rand, why are you doing that? Stop it. This is and so he's annoying. Saying, and he's saying, it's just a weed, I need <laughs> Uh, this has been another episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, all right, so we have licking the Choden call. <laughs> so does anyone want does to anyone demonstrate? Else? Come, come demonstrate. Come demonstrate. Yes. Come and on. We have you, a huge share of Sidar weaves. We will accept Sidar yes. in the yeah. other. Does anybody else have an idea of what cleansing? If you were in Rand's position and you were sitting there with the Chodan call, and you, the Chodan. fate of the world was in your hands, and you needed to cleanse Sidene. Bring back a drink, Andrew. Never. I like that. Bring back a bunch of crap in a glass. <laughs> all right, all right. You start calling your hand and you start scrubbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, using, the, using the churning call like a Mr. Clean magic eraser. Oh, there you go. Oh, just clean that show, then call. We do recommend daily paint cleansing. Yes. <laughs> In fact, we actually do the the three two or the three two one. No, it's three. That's ribs. That's a different three thing. Hours sleep. <laughs> yeah, three a uh, minimum sleep. three hours of sleep, two meals, two meals a day, uh, one, one shower. shower every day at the convention. <laughs> Please, oh, for everyone's okay. sake. We're gonna change gears. Well, that is the like, question. Was it every day? Or this is a daily thing. Yes. Oh, that's not. <laughs> per no. convention. <laughs> <laughs> no, every day. I mean, I mean. Daily is recommended. <laughs> Please practice good hygiene. In fact, if it's really, really hot and in Atlanta, Georgia, oh. and the hotel runs out of AC, maybe oh. once an hour. <laughs> runs out of AC. <laughs> you yeah. heard what I said. It was. It was. It was. It was. It was, a, it was an issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was that this year or the year before? No, just, 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 it was, just was just only here. night the lad the very last night the convention was technically over <laughs> so it was actually okay. <laughs> it was actually different for me because it was like the night before everyone oh, was complaining was it? about it. My AC was out. Then everyone was complaining about it the next night that was the AC was out. Mine was showing like eighty to eighty-five degrees in my room, but it was only like seventy degrees. Huh. Fascinating. Yeah. All right. Does anybody Master. else have any? So we've got wax on, wax off. 
For okay, cleansing the tent. We've got washboarding in. We've got we've got Choden call magic eraser in it. Uh, we've also got the the soft serve lick. Anybody? Any other suggestions? The vacuuming up. I feel like I feel like the taint is moist. Uh, and I wouldn't boys. use a vacuum. Shut Sorry. Shut that. Sorry, carpet cleaning <laughs> side. A wet dry shot back or a carpet shampoo. Yeah. 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 Garbage. Which that is my commission spot right there. <laughs> <laughs> to do that, you gotta tie off the leaf and make the shampoo. <laughs> What's it a Giant success. All right. <laughs> All right. Any others? Any other? Wonderful. All right. Tanks. So we are going to, we have a number of suggestions. Do we have any suggestions in the chat? Oh. Oh, we, I guess we should do that. I, so, yeah. I don't This know. is a live stream. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Wait, do we have chat? There's chat. <laughs> uh, BTV. Yeah, no. Uh, more shoddy says that Andrew grabs the taint by the cheese ball. Cheese ball. <laughs> All right. And then Matt Stagger says cheese balls for the win. Hey, Matt Stagger. We should you indeed. Know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do. Comments. I'll set this down over. Four. All right. So I am going to demonstrate the different ones, and then we will sort of vote on uh, what they are. So we have obviously the. Jodan called uh, nice soft serve, so you got Rand oh, just sitting there no, for no, hours no. and hours going. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> if, I feel like I feel like you if, do. if Rand will Alphabet, actually Alphabet, definitely get that in there. A is for Alfred. B is for Bat. <laughs> I feel like if Rand were doing that for several days. Cleansing, like the Forsaken would want to kill him on <laughs> pure merit that it's creepy as hell. He's like, no, seriously, what is Louis Theron doing? Well, and again, Nynaeve is just, Nynaeve is across from him the whole time, just getting slowly more and more. <laughs> Should I close my eyes? I can't see him. Like, oh! All right, and then we've got the, the classic uh, wax on, wax off. That's a good one. Days. The uh, compulsion should be shake weight. The washboard. <laughs> I like this one. This is very nice. Oh, the washboard is yeah. good. I like the washboard. And then you've got uh, the Shodan Call Magic Eraser. <laughs> Just right here. On... That one looks abrasive. Sideen <laughs> <laughs> is abrasive. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> and then uh, last shows? we have the, the carpet cleaner. Just go along. The, car the carpet shampoo. I I have different reasons for loving and hating each one. Is that what Rain does too? He's like, I can just see him like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, no, seriously, what are you doing? He's like, that's just how it works. He gets to a really bad patch of sight. <laughs> Actually, I've got a little bit more picture of some of him in a septic tank. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. All right. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and do show of hands here for who likes uh, Choden Call Soft Serve Cone the best. Thank you for bringing me get the hell out of my seat. All right, wonderful. Hands Please. down. We got wax on, wax off. What a karate kid going on? Nobody likes wax on. All right. All right, we got washboard. Fuck you, Mr. Miyagi. We got washboard. No? Okay, not a problem. We got Shoden Call Magic Eraser. All right, and last we got. Shit. There it is. There it is. Rand no, moaned. No, soft serve he, still wins. Rand moaned. Wait, what? Soft serve still wins by one point. <laughs> by one point. One of you are a pervert. Yes. Who <laughs> cleansed Sidene. 
All right. You. So you are now the proud owner of a. Wait, you have one? No, I meant military. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the military challenge toy that you have. Yeah, but this one's better. At Wheel of Time. Oh, I like the sword. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> New, dedicated. You're amazing. So, All right. We are going to be going back behind the scenes on the sword. Uh, when we did the design for the sword, we used the blade from the show sword, but the pommel from the previously approved and licensed. So the pommel and hilt is from like the you know original That's like approved. Cool. And we haven't got a cease and desist from Amazon yet. Yeah, so I think it's different <laughs> enough. And but we're waiting for it. Because we are. We, as as what we've learned is, if you want to be a big player in the wheel of time, you, you need, need at least one DMCA. Which uh, well, so we don't got, sell them. Uh, That's Dragon true. We do not sell them. Like, we need a... Come on, guys. <laughs> Tell on us. I got one from Disney. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, yeah. you did. <laughs> All right, so I do oh, have... It. Be like, those black tar podcasts. All right, so we have time jerks. for one more of these, and we do need to go a little faster with this one, but I think that we're actually going to go with Bella Go Juice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bella Go Juice. Bella Go Juice. So also Josh, known as the, the refreshing... Weave like the erase someone. Yes, but the refreshing fatigue. someone from a distance with desperation. The Bella Go Juice. <laughs> <laughs> because it was Rand's. Well, again, I don't like any part of that sentence. Go juice. Rand's Go Juice, right? Yes, Rand's Bella Go Juice. Yeah. Well, Maureen gets to Bella and she goes, "You've already gotten Go Juice." <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just a squirt knife. <laughs> I don't know you how she didn't see, notice. You just no, see Rand like, at the back of the pack, like just, riding as hard as he can, just being like, "Ah, oh, God." That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's and? bad. That is bad. Yeah. That's bad. disgusting. Bad. 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 Sorry. <laughs> That was not the kind of squirt gun I meant. <laughs> I have to. It's it's PTV after hours. So. God. All right. So I did say we needed to do this You're a little fast. Yeah. I don't want to do it anymore. Okay. You guys are good. So we've got squirt gun. <laughs> it's now completely tainted. Thanks. Yeah. I know. Everything here is completely yes. tainted. All right. What do we got? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is that the extra strong version? Yes. Like yeah. That gets you eight hours of stamina. That's that's the we've been riding for a really long time. <laughs> Could you no? Just imagine, imagine being anybody but Rand on that ride, and you look back and all you see is Rand just. <laughs> well, what? Also, how awkward is it when you miss Bella and hit a green? She just. Gets... <laughs> well, according to the show, it's on par. But... Well, <laughs> also. Yeah. So he can't really have too much promotion. Oh, he can. Yeah. Did, he knew what he was doing because he knew he was wishing for it to happen. He just didn't know he was imbuing it with magic. He was, he was so scared that he was riding, having fantasies about Egwene, and accidentally. There we go, yeah. Accidentally that's, that's energized about it. So much. Yeah. That's also, cool. I mean, to be fair, if he misses fair. Bella, it's all over. To be <laughs> fair. If he does miss Bella and hit Egwene, we already know from her time in the tower much, much later that Egwene is actually into that. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm into that shit. Yeah, she know. might not have dumped him in Elaine's oh, presence if he had just gone ahead no. and done that wee on Did you just fucking spank me? Oh, it's because that means Gowan go It now makes sense why oh, no. he didn't give a shit about dying. <laughs> He's like, spank me one more time and see what the fuck happens. <laughs> He's like, all right, motherfucker. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Egwene, we can't tonight. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> I mean, the tongue is a piece of the body. 
It's it's also like one of the most one of the strongest muscles. <laughs> All right, does anybody else have any suggestions for it, it Bella Go good. Juice? Ooh, Kiss Blow. Kiss along the same lines. We got a lick slap, solid kiss different below. direction. Sounds anybody like a Saturday else? night. There's a booty <laughs> caress. I feel like I feel like there's a booty caress motion. I'm sure you, you would. Know, if you were if you were, you know, if you're and it, it's a good one you can do when you're writing too. You have the reins, you're right. <laughs> Are you still riding a horse? <laughs> well, not not that dominant. Not like a horse. If you, need, horse. If you need oh, someone to really start moving, what you need to do is you give my kick in the ass. I mean, okay. no, that's just regular coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's normal horse go shoes. We're looking like for magical world. horse go shoes. That might get you thrown. Oh, okay. all right. Anybody else for belly go shoes? Oh, in the back, Mr. Coffin. There it is. Oh, we got the lasso. I like it. Lasso. I like it. He's like, come on, Bella. <laughs> Rand just stands up in the saddle, turns around perfectly balanced, and just like fisherman. <laughs> we, did, we did see all the these all the trick riders. Says mm -hmm. in this example, does Bella like cat and just and just? <laughs> <laughs> and Wayne's just riding in the dark. She's like, what, what is, going is on? happening? <laughs> Good point. He went. Ooh. She has 17 consecutive cases of whiplash. <laughs> he finally gets off the horse and he's just like, what do you want? But Bella made it. It works. Can you just, uh, actually, I just love this, because can you imagine Moraine walking up to all the horses once they stop and just being like... <laughs> <laughs> Because I will admit, I can definitely see me see Moraine walking up, walking past the line of horses, just doing this. Before I can see her doing this one. Do you know, the, the funny thing is, like, the Evans Field Five. More impressive. I can see the Evans Field Five being like, <laughs> and Land being like, go the fuck in the fire. <laughs> They're just sitting there like, this lady showed up, gave us money, said, follow me, and is now spanking our horses. <laughs> Well, I also love I also love the idea she like does the horses first and then lands like go by the fire you're next. <laughs> Could you get into that? <laughs> go it's, to the fire and bend over that log. <laughs> so the only sad part is that Maureen can't do it to herself. <laughs> All in favor, say aye. Uh, <laughs> there it is. I like the flag. Next time you guys go through your reread, <laughs> you'll know that boy Ray. Or better yet, the next time Kate and Michael are reading a passage. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there. No. there you go. You're welcome. Bastard. You're welcome. Oh, if I have to mentally suffer every <laughs> I don't All even right, know. Like, they were out in the, in the atrium, and I'm like, I don't think I can look them in the eyes. But <laughs> like I've heard dirty things that you said but didn't say. That's <laughs> horrifyingly terrible. No, it's like, oh, you stole my phone. Right? You left it over here. Yeah, you left it over here. Yes, I stole it. All right, guys. Well, thank you very, very Make much for sure attending sure. this live recording of a Black Tower podcast episode. We have had so much fun. As you can tell. Thank you. Thank you. However many people are here, is that number more than I thought it would be here? Yes. It's actually that number plus one. I have I'm sorry, That's my hand. That's my hand. Everybody. Yeah. Your body, yeah. yeah. Everybody, yeah. rock your body right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black towers back. All right. All right. Thank so you. thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much for being here.
Thank you for being here at home truly, as well. Truly appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, um, thank you at home. Oh, oh, God. God. oh shit! It's so just we have to re record the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed this bonus. Oh, yeah. Dose thank you for attending. Madness. And we hope that when you walk through those doors, you can feel a little bit more insane. Also, than you were when you came in. We do want to make sure that before everyone goes, we know that it's been a long night. We know that some of you are tired. So if any of you want some go juice on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> we have a talent for this. One. Uh, all right, but no, seriously, guys, thank you so much. Uh, if any of you are not current listeners of the Black Tower podcast, uh, to find anything out about us, all you need to do is go to blacktower dot or blacktowerpod dot com. Not wearing it. I don't need it. I know what our website is. Are you sure? I'm a hundred percent sure it's blacktowerpod dot com. I was really hoping you would say the name wrong. I was really hoping. <laughs> I got it wrong enough times when we first started the podcast or the website. I never get it wrong. <laughs> so many edits. Thank you so much for being here. From all of us here at the Black Tower, I have been your sore bond. I have been your Bajan Mahal. Um, what's my name? <laughs> Andrew. Andrew. And I have been your Amon Khan Mahal, Daniel. Oh, and from all of us here at the Black Tower, again, thank you for being here in person. Oh, thank you for being here at home. <laughs> we hope that you're having a lovely evening and a lovely con, a lovely whatever it is when you're watching this event. <laughs> I hope you're really you. enjoying your FOMO. There yeah. you go. Oh. That's, oh. That's, that's me. With yeah. love. <laughs> with, <laughs> with love. With love. With <laughs> and in case we don't see you again, good afternoon. Good evening. Don't! I did the no I did the no stuff.